What is the speed of thought? What is the speed of consciousness? How fast do we cogitate in a real term reality visually? Let me demonstrate. In order to discover the speed of time, we have to use the equation speed equals distance divided by time. If we take time to be infinite, then we put infinity over infinity. The distance is infinity, the time is infinity. And we divide the two, resulting in one. One what, you say? One increment of time, thereby proving the relativity of time. For one minute is not the same as one hour, which is not the same as one day, is it? But they are all increments of time. But how fast do we visually cogitate and think in this reality that we are so blessed to be life within? Well, let me demonstrate. If we take the humble stopwatch, we can look at the hours counting by slowly. The speed of time is 60 minutes per hour. 60 minutes per hour. One. We are going at 60 minutes per hour. But that's really slow, comparatively, relatively. We are travelling at that field vector vicariously in one increment of reality. On a stopwatch, the hours go by quite slowly. However, let's bring it down to the minutes. Once we get to the minutes, we have less time to prevaricate and pontificate as we slowly see the time rising in numerical value. One, two, three, four, five. That is not the speed of minutes. That is more like the speed of seconds, which makes up a minute. So that was along the lines of five seconds of pain, suffering, and fortitude on your part to handle this symposium into the speed of thought. But what if we do something more exciting? What if we actually look at the seconds on a stopwatch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds of time gone in a flash like that. That was a ten minute increment of time where I was just counting along the realms of the seconds. But here is the point of the entire lecture. You want to know the speed of thought visually? Let's go down to the milliseconds. And that is where, my friends, you will find yourself regarding consciousness at a high-speed vector of intense velocity. Look at the numbers flow. Look at them ascend at radical speeds in an increment of three integers. We have weathered the storm of time so well, with such acumen and such accuracy into scientific calibrations, that we can now gauge the speed of thought being along the lines of the speed of time which would be comfortably met with the solace our conchai feel on a day-to-day -day basis within this quantum matrix. Do you understand? Do you feel? Do you now see the powers that we are operating at and the speeds that we cogitate within? There is not much time. Use your inner mind focal vortex systems to cogitate all vicarious solutions to every world problem. At this speed, we will conquer everything in our way.